One of those immediate pressures you talk about is housing. Who needs to give a bid to break this sale in the Senate? What, what do you need to do? What do the Greens need to do to just get this through? Well, we have provided, uh, we have moved uh, in the negotiations around the Housing Australia Future Fund, uh, and Julie Collins is doing a terrific job uh, trying to get this through the Parliament. Should say good morning to Jackie on her way past. <laughs> morning, Jackie. How are you? Nice to see well you. Done. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks very much. Um, Ju for housing, you <laughs> yeah, no, we appreciate your support for housing, Jackie. Oh, yeah, thank you. Time, and I'll tell you what, the sooner we get that foundation down, the better. Yeah. Every day those greens stop that is every day those people out there are living in those bloody tents. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better. <laughs> We do appreciate Jackie Lambie's support for the Housing Australia Future Fund uh, and we are, we are trying to work constructively uh, with the Senate crossbench to get this passed. You know, it beggars belief, frankly, when we've got all this pressure on housing that the Greens and the Coalition have teamed up in this unholy alliance against the building of more social and affordable housing. You know, it beggars belief, frankly. Uh, and so we want to get that passed through the Parliament. We've also got new tax breaks for build to rent properties in the budget that I handed down on Tuesday night, and that'll be important to build more affordable properties. And we're helping people with Commonwealth rent assistance, the biggest increase in 30 years.